I'm going to give you three myths about buying in today's real estate market. Hey everybody, welcome back. I hope you had a great week. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, a lot of people talking about buying right now. This is the season if you are thinking about getting into the market and the market is in a bit of flux as we know, but I want to give you three different myths that are kind of floating around right now that I think are important for you if you're one of those people who are thinking about buying. Okay, myth number one is that you've got lots of time before you make a decision on a property you like and this just absolutely is not true. So although there are some properties sitting longer on the market, there are lots that are not. And if it's a good property, they're selling fast. I was personally involved with two different places last week that had offer dates. One got 14 offers, one got 16. They both sell for, sold for way over asking. That is still happening. So there's lots that aren't selling. There's lots that are selling for lots of offers. So if it's something that you like, and you're interested in going to see it, you better do so quickly just to make sure. Number two, the second myth I wanna talk about is about your down payment. I still talk to a lot of people who think they need 20% down in order to purchase. Now, lots of people can purchase property with less than 20% down. It will depend on your overall finances, of course, but in some cases it could be 5%, 20%. The bottom line is you need to talk to a lender or your bank and make that decision. We're happy to help you with some recommendations there as well. Um, once you know what you can afford, of course, then you can start shopping, but don't wait thinking that you have to save more money than you actually need to save. And the third myth, and this is really important, a lot of people believe that once they have approval on a place and they've made a purchase, that the lender will give them the money no matter what. And the reality is that's not true. So let's say, for example, you purchase a property, you get a mortgage, it's set to close in a month from now, and you decide now is a really good time to go out and buy that new car that you wanted. This will affect your credit rating and your lender can absolutely take back their approval and then all of a sudden you are stuck with a house and no mortgage. So that's a situation obviously you don't want to be in. Make sure you understand your obligations if you have been given an approval for a mortgage. Hopefully these tips are helpful for you. We're always here to answer your questions, of course. Don't forget to follow us on our podcast the Toronto Real Estate Show with Janelle and Leslie. And you know what? We were just ranked one of the best podcasts in real estate in Toronto. And uh, we're very honored to be able to provide content for you every week. So I hope you're tuning in. If you're not, you should. And um, of course, reach out with any questions. And don't forget to share this video with other people you think might be interested. Have a great day and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.